Ju Soli, meaning right of the soil, is the right of anyone born in the territory of a state to nationality or citizenship. As an unconditional basis for citizenship, it is the predominant rule in the Americas, but is rare elsewhere. Since the 27th Amendment of the Constitution of Ireland was enacted in 2004, no European country grants citizenship based on unconditional Ju Soli. A study in 2010 found that only 30 of the world's 194 countries grant citizenship at birth to the children of undocumented foreign residents, although definitive information was not available from 19 countries. Almost all states in Europe, Asia, Africa, and Oceania grant citizenship at birth based upon the principle of Jus Sanguinis, in which citizenship is inherited through parents not by birthplace or a restricted version of Jus Oli in which citizenship by birthplace is automatic only for the children of certain immigrants. Countries that have acceded to the 1961 Convention on the Reduction of Statelessness will grant nationality to otherwise stateless persons who were born on their territory, or on a ship or plane flagged by that country. Jus Soli is associated with permissive citizenship rights. Most countries with unconditional jus soli laws tend to give birthright citizenship based on jus sanguinis rules as well, although these stipulations tend to be more restrictive than in countries that use jus sanguinis as the primary basis for nationality. History An early form of jus soli dates from Cleosthenes' reforms of ancient Athenian law in the 6th century BC. It developed further in the Roman world where citizenship was extended to all free inhabitants of the Roman Empire by the Edict of Caracalla in AD 212. With the social and economic development of the 19th and 20th centuries, and the massive migrations to the Americas and Western Europe, Jew solely was established in a greater and greater number of countries. At the turn of the 19th century, Nation-states commonly divided themselves between those granting nationality on the grounds of Jus Soli and those granting it on the grounds of Jus Sanguinis. However, since 2007 the European migrant crisis has focused attention on these two conflicting sources of nationality rights, national laws. Lex Soli is a law used in practice to regulate who and under what circumstances an individual can assert the right of Jus Soli. Most states provide a specific Lex Soli, in application of the respect of Jus Soli, and it is the most common means of acquiring nationality. A frequent exception to Lex Soli is imposed when a child was born to a parent in the diplomatic or consular service of another state on a mission to the state in question. Unrestricted Jus Soli Antigua and Barbuda, guaranteed by the Constitution. However, one government official told the Center for Immigration Studies that the country's current effort to tighten immigration policies may include an end to automatic birthright citizenship for children of illegal immigrants. Argentina, Barbados, guaranteed by the Constitution. However, the Barbados Ministry of Labor and Immigration recently proposed ending automatic birthright citizenship. Belize, Bolivia, Brazil, Canada, Costa Rica, Dominica, Ecuador, El Salvador, Fiji, Grenada, Guatemala, Guyana, Honduras, Jamaica, Lesotho, Mexico, Nicaragua, Pakistan, Panama, Paraguay, Peru, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, Tanzania, Trinidad and Tobago, Tuvalu, United States. The 14th Amendment to the United States Constitution provides that all persons born or naturalized in the United States and subject to the jurisdiction thereof, as citizens of the United States and of the state wherein they reside, the phrase, subject to the jurisdiction thereof, excludes children born to foreign diplomats and children born to enemy forces engaged in hostile occupation of the country's territory, Uruguay, Venezuela, 
restricted Jew solely there is a trend in some countries toward restricting Lex solely by requiring that at least one of the child's parents be a citizen, national, or legal permanent resident of the state in question at time of the child's birth, or requiring that at least one parent have resided in the country for a specific period of time. Modification of Jew solely has been criticized as contributing to economic inequality, the perpetuation of unfair labor from a helot underclass, and statelessness. Jew solely has been restricted in the following countries. Australia. Since 20 August 1986, a person born in Australia acquires Australian citizenship by birth only if at least one parent was an Australian citizen or permanent resident for, upon the tenth birthday of the child regardless of their parents' citizenship status. Bahrain. Children born to a foreign father with valid residency permits who himself was born in Bahrain have right to citizenship. Cambodia. In 1996, Cambodia changed the law to only grant citizenship to children born to foreign parents living legally in the Kingdom of Cambodia of the 1996 Nationality Law. Chile. The 1980 constitution changed the Chilean nationality law to require that children born in Chile of non-citizen parents must request citizenship and that this request be approved by the government. Colombia. A person born in Colombia with at least one parent being a Colombian citizen or resident is automatically a Colombian citizen. Dominican Republic. The constitution was amended on 26 January 2010. The amendment broadened the definition of the 2004 Migration Law, which excluded from citizenship children born to individuals that were in transit to include non-residents. Egypt According to Article 4 of Nationality Law of the Arab Republic of Egypt, persons born in Egypt gain citizenship at birth if the father also was born in Egypt. France Children born in France to at least one foreign parent who is also born in France automatically acquire French citizenship at birth. Children born to foreign parents may request citizenship depending on their age and length of residence. Germany an exception to the increasing restrictiveness toward birthright citizenship, Germany, prior to 2000, had its nationality law based entirely on Jew sanguinis. Now, children born on or after 1 January 2000 to non-German parents acquire German citizenship at birth if at least one parent has a permanent residence, permit and the parent was residing in Germany for at least eight years. Hong Kong. Since the July 1997 transfer of sovereignty over Hong Kong, most political rights and eligibility for most benefits are conferred to permanent residents regardless of citizenship. Conversely, PRC citizens who are not permanent residents are not conferred these rights and privileges. The Basic Law provides that all citizens of the People's Republic of China born in the territory are permanent residents of the territory and have the right of abode in Hong Kong. The 2001 case Director of Immigration v. Chong Feng Wen clarified that the parents need not have right of abode, and as a consequence, many women from mainland China began coming to Hong Kong to give birth by 2008. The number of babies in the territory born to mainland China mothers had grown to 25 times the number five years prior. Non-PRC citizens born to non-PRC citizen permanent resident parents in Hong Kong also receive permanent residence at birth. Other persons must have ordinarily resided in Hong Kong for seven continuous years in order to gain permanent residence and 24. Iran Article 976 of the Civil Code of Iran grants citizenship at birth to persons born in Iran of foreign parents if one or both of the parents were themselves born in Iran. See Iranian Nationality Law, Ireland. On 1 January 2005, the law was amended to require that at least one of the parents be an Irish citizen, a British citizen, a child of a resident with a permanent right to reside in Ireland, or be a child of a legal resident residing three of the last four years in the country.
Malaysia, a person born in Malaysia on or after 16 September 1963 with at least one parent being a Malaysian citizen or permanent resident is automatically a Malaysian citizen. Morocco, a person who was born in Morocco to parents also born in Morocco lands and whose immigration is legal, can register as a Moroccan two years prior to becoming adult. Namibia, a person born in Namibia to a Namibian citizen parent or a foreign parent who is ordinarily resident in Namibia, is a Namibian citizen at birth. New Zealand, since 1 January 2006 a person born in New Zealand acquires New Zealand citizenship by birth only if at least one parent was a New Zealand citizen or permanent resident, or if to prevent being stateless. Portugal, a child born in Portuguese territory to who does not possess another nationality is a Portuguese citizen. Also, a person born to foreign parents who were not serving their respective states at the time of birth is a Portuguese citizen if the person declares that they want to be Portuguese and provided that one of the parents has legally resided in Portugal for at least five years at the time of birth. South Africa since 6 October 1995 a person born in South Africa to South African citizens or permanent residents are automatically granted South African citizenship. Sudan, a person born before 1994 gains Sudanese nationality at birth if his father was also born in Sudan. If his father was not born in Sudan, he can apply to the minister to be granted Sudanese nationality. Thailand. Thailand operated a system of pure Jew solely prior to 1972, but afterwards, due to illegal immigration from Burma, the Nationality Act was amended to require that both parents be legally resident and domiciled in Thailand for at least five years in order for their child to be granted Thai citizenship at birth. Furthermore, Someone who has Thai citizenship by sole virtue of due solely may be stripped of Thai citizenship under various conditions which do not apply to people who have Thai citizenship by virtue of due sanguinis. Tunisia. Individuals born in Tunisia are citizens by birth if their father and grandfather were born in Tunisia. Additionally, the person must declare before becoming an adult that he wants to be a citizen. United Kingdom. Since 1 January 1983, at least one parent must be a British citizen or be legally settled in the country or upon the 10th birthday of the child regardless of their parents' citizenship status. Abolition of Jew solely Some countries which formerly observed Jew solely have moved to abolish it entirely, conferring citizenship on children born in the country only if one of the parents is a citizen of that country. India abolished Jew solely on 3 December 2004 in reaction to illegal immigration from its neighbor Bangladesh. Jew solely had already been progressively weakened in India since 1987. Malta changed the principle of citizenship to Jew Sanguinis on 1 August 1989 in a move that also relaxed restrictions against multiple citizenship.